install a vertical blind right now. And to do that, we have a window opening over here. And we're going to install it with inside the window opening. All right, now I had to go measure and have this pre-cut. This is the part that goes on the top. And this is the slider that holds the pins that are going to hold the verticals. But these have to be, this rod has to be hung with brackets. And I'm just going to show you real quickly how we do that. This is a very easy job and one that you shouldn't be afraid of doing. Now what we have are brackets <coughs> that are built either to fit on the wall like this or to fit into the ceiling like this. And with the combination that we have here, we're going to have to do both. We're going to have to secure the center one to that center aluminum mullion and also to the roof. These other ones um, will have to hook over on the sides, but will probably be put up the same way. And with this being the same length, we don't have to do any measuring in here. We put one up in the middle and one up on each end. What we're going to do now is install the one in the center first. Now since that center piece is a piece of aluminum, instead of drilling and tapping, I'm going to use one of these self-tapping aluminum screws. And you can see how it's cut on the end. What will happen is as I drill it in, it will go right in and self-tap into the metal and it'll hold it securely. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up the ladder and do that right now. All we need to do is basically put this against the ceiling so that it's secure up there. And I've drilled a couple just a little notches there to know where I'm going with that. Take my drill. in my two screws. Whoops. I have to loosen that a little bit so I can straighten it up. There we go. And now I'll go ahead and put my other screw in and just basically follow the same procedure. Okay, now that's nice and secure. It's nice and tight and it's not going to go anywhere. And then what we'll do is I'm going to anchor the two outer ones the same way. We installed the bracket on the far side, but we're going to go ahead and install this one. It just goes up here, right against the edge there. And again, I've got my self-tappers here, and we're just going to run them in place. Okay. And again, one more. Alright, so our three brackets are up. Whoops. I didn't let that thing turn around. There we are. If you look closely here, these are the brackets, I'm going to turn this sideways, these are the brackets that the rod clips into. And you'll notice that I've loosened them some so that I can adjust them in or out so that when our valence comes down it, 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 it falls in the center. So what I'll do is position those and tighten them in place and then I'll show you how we just snap the rod into place. The top has an edge here and an edge back here. Now the way those clips are made up there is we put it in this way into the back clip and then just snap it in place. The front are spring loaded so they snap in place. Also if we have to get them out later there's a little slot in there that if we had to pull it back out we could put a screwdriver in there and release the tension. Now I'll go ahead and put this in place now. And as you remember, the rod was cut to our length. So we come up underneath. 
we get into our slots and snap and snap and snap. And that's it. The rod is in place. Very simple. As I said, it's a simple operation. We just make sure that our carrier go across back and forth. And now all we have to do is install the uh, veins into the vertical veins, which we'll do right now. We had cut to fit. Now we cut them so that they just fit in the area that way when we snap them in place that there won't be a lot of gap from bottom to top. And now you'll notice there's just a little slot right in the top of the vein. And this is a very simple installation too. You just take the vein, I'll just put it right here in one of the middle ones, click. That's all there is to it. So that's the way we install our veins. Okay. Now we can check to see whether they open and close just by turning that to see if we're fine. There's all the way open and there would be shut. Okay. If you look at the bottom, we clear by oh half to a quarter to a half inch so that when we open and close they won't be dragging. The other thing as you see is snapping these veins in place. This is probably the easiest of the easy part of the job. And again we have to make sure that we all go in the same direction because otherwise they'll be in backwards. But again it's real easy to take one out and turn it around if you have to do that. Now there is the last of the veins. So we give this pull out. And our veins are closing. And our veins are opening. Now these are for the for hanging the valence. And if you'll notice here, there's two grooves here. Now they will go over the top of the rail and hook in the place. And then the valence itself, the valence piece, will go into this groove, which will be in front. I'll go ahead and put those in place now. So again, you're hooking over the back, snap over the front, and then it's hanging here. This is our valence piece here, and what I have here are the end caps for it. And they just click into place over the end of this part of the valence, like so and lock into place. Okay. Okay, now we're all snapped in place.